everyone, and welcome to Jones Act Survival. Uh, I've been out in the garden and I've just been picking eggplants and zucchini and stuff like that. And with the eggplants, what I usually do is would cut them up. Well, my mom used to do this, so I do it the same way. Cut them up into slices that are maybe a quarter inch thick. She would put them in a little mixture of uh, milk and egg and then dip them in either flour or cracker crumbs or whatever and fry them, kind of like she does mushrooms. And I like them that way, but nobody else seems to eat them, and it's probably not that healthy for you. So I decided I'm going to look up and try to find a different way to make eggplant. And I came across eggplant bacon, which was like a light bulb went off in my head. So I've never done this before. I've got all the ingredients. I went and got what I didn't have. And we're going to do this together and find out if it's worth it or, or not. If it is, if it's something that's done in the dehydrator or the oven. It's something that I can store long term that doesn't have to be refrigerated or anything. So if it works, it's going to be amazing. Okay, so what the recipe calls for. If you want to write it down, do it right now. One large eggplant. I've got a couple mediums. I might not use all of them. If I've got enough of the mixture to marinate it, I'll, I'll get it all in there. We need that. We need two tablespoons of tamari. I had to look everywhere for tamari. <laughs> but it was in the Asian section at the store. It's just a a gluten-free soy sauce, yeah, healthy stuff, whatever. <laughs> Two tablespoons of maple syrup or agave. So I went to the store. The maple syrup this time of year is so expensive. Actually, I wish I had some of my own stuff that I make myself. But I got the agave. It was cheaper. And a lot of the recipes um, suggested this over the maple syrup. We'll see what happens. After that, I'm going to need two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. I had some of that here. And I'm going to need two tablespoons of olive oil. We have that. Uh, one teaspoon of chili powder. I've got chili powder, and I don't know why you want chili powder in your bacon, but we're just going to follow the directions. And because some of them didn't have this in it, but I'm going to follow them just to see what happens. But I'm kind of wondering about that. Three to five drops of liquid smoke. We want to have smoky bacon. A uh, quarter of a teaspoon of smoked paprika or one teaspoon of regular paprika. I went with the regular paprika because I'm already putting in the liquid smoke. And black pepper to taste. So, other things you can add in is cumin, cayenne pepper, mesquite powder, garlic, tomato, whatever. I'm just going to stick with this basic recipe here and we're going to give it a try. So the first thing we have to do is to slice our eggplant. Now it says a quarter inch thick or less. A lot of the places say use your mandolin to do that. Um, I used the man. You can also do this with zucchini. And I tried to make zucchini chips using my mandolin to slice it. And I did nine trays in my dehydrator, dehydrated them. And what I ended up with was paper thin stuff that stuck to it. There was nothing there. So we're going to slice them with a knife and go about a little bit under a quarter inch thick. Okay, so in this recipe, some people take off the skin, but most people leave the skin on. It's supposed to be uh, nice and crispy and kind of gives it more of a bacony type feel. Okay, we have our eggplant is sliced and already starting to change color. <laughs> so let's get our, our marinade started. I need two tablespoons of tamari. And black pepper to taste. I don't know how much I want, so we'll just throw some in there. That looks good. All right, I'm going to get this mixed up, and then we'll come back and we'll put our stuff in and see if we can get it all coated. Okay, so I mixed this up and I tasted it. A lot of the other recipes that I read, they all had sea salt in it. And a lot of them said that this stuff would be really salty, and that was what made it really good. This is not salty at all. So I am... Putting it in the dehydrator is not going to make it salty. And there's no salt coming out of that eggplant. So I am going to go ahead and add a teaspoon of sea salt. That's a little better. At least it's got a little bit of flavor. Okay, now I'm supposed to put this in here and get them all coated. I don't know how, when I make jerky, I got a lot more fluid in there <laughs> before I put my stuff in. But Okay, so we got that all mixed up. And what I'm going to do is continually keep mixing and mixing this just to keep all that liquid 
really getting in there and you can see it's really soaking in. But now I feel kind of bad because in my Excalibur I've got the nine tray dehydrator and this is going to fill up what? One, one and a half trays. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to set this aside. I'm going to take this eggplant here and I'm going to cut it up and I'm going to try to go a little bit thinner just to give it a try because a lot of people use the, the slicer, like I said, so but they go up to a quarter inch, it said. So I'll make these a little bit uh, thinner, and then I'll make another batch. Okay, I've I got the second batch mixed up here and everything cut up, so I'm just going to get these coated. All right, everything's cut, everything's soaked in now. I mean, it really soaks it up. So now we're just going to let this sit, like it said, for one hour. This one will be in for about an hour and 15 minutes, but that's okay. And then after this, I'm going to turn on the dehydrator at 115. I'm going to put it in there, and I want to dry it until it's completely dry. See how this turns out. I don't know if I'm going to come back when I put it into the dehydrator or just wait till it's done. You guys have seen plenty of stuff get thrown into the dehydrator. So anyway, we'll be back, and we'll see how this turns out. Okay, everyone. Well, here we are. It's a day later. Let's see what we got here. <laughs> Definitely looks kind of neat, doesn't it, compared to when it went in? I wonder if that's supposed to be done until it breaks. But uh, maybe it can't with that oil on there because it's leathery. Hmm. I don't know. Let's bring it up and give it a try. Well, there we can get a little bit better look at it. It's leathery. But it's been in there for... Oh, man. 20 hours, so it should be done. Anyway, looks like it does. It does look a lot like bacon, though. We'll have to give her a taste here and see what it's like. Okay, so here we have eggplant bacon, supposedly. <laughs> uh, all of it fit into this jar, so but it's real leathery. So I'm going to be interested to see how this stores. I mean, I don't think it can get really crisp with all the oil we put in there. I, I don't think that it would, but... It doesn't taste like bacon, but... It's really weird. That stuff is like a sponge, and it just soaked everything in there. And like I said, there was 10, 15, probably 20 different kind of recipes. The problem is most of them are on vegan sites, vegan sites, whatever you call those people. So even finding one that had the liquid smoke was tough because they're against that. And as far as I'm concerned, um, I, you know, these would be good if you were to just dip them in bacon grease and dehydrate them. That's all I think. But it's really good. It doesn't taste like bacon to me, but it's really good. And it's a good way to do eggplant. I wonder how the zucchini would be with this too. I'm going to experiment with this using different kind of recipes because this is a little bit too sweet for me. But it's good and it doesn't taste like an eggplant. So I think it's a really good idea. And I think we should try it with different recipes. And I think you guys should give it a try. I mean, some of the recipes were as simple as soy sauce, liquid smoke, and salt. Maybe I should do something like that to get it more to taste like bacon. But if you don't eat meat, so you never eat bacon, how the hell do you know what bacon tastes like? Anyway, that's my true opinion right there. You watched it get made. It was really simple, and it was fun. And I would eat eggplant like this any day versus just a regular old eggplant. <laughs> uh, thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.